uh, compared to the B-cell malignancy setting, um, the therapy in AML is really challenged by the high degree of heterogeneity we are seeing, and that affects not only immunotherapies, but also targeted therapies. So, but on top of that, in the specific CAR T-cell setting, we are facing the challenge of uh, the lack of specific target antigens on the surface uh, to choose as a CAR target. And um, there we have um, previously um, mined uh, um, proteomic and transcriptomic uh, data sources to identify novel targets. And um, um, here at this conference, we presented a, a novel combinatorial CAR T-cell approach to actually uh, overcome the challenge of um, antigen escape and also lack of specific target antigens. So this is, this is a efficacy, but also a big safety challenge for the field. Uh, and we've presented a uh, novel construct that we call Edclexin1, and uh, that's a combinatorial car design that is intended to actually use a therapeutic window that we uh, enlarge by um, at the same time targeting two antigens, and that is uh, ADGI2. Uh, it's an adhesion G-protein coupled receptor, and it's actually a uh, novel target that hasn't been addressed by any immunotherapy before. Um, and we also co-target a second antigen, CLEC12A, or CLL1, and that is uh, well known in the field. So by co-targeting, we really hope that we can uh, broaden the uh, therapeutic window um, and also assure that we prevent antigen low AML escape, but also um, to design a therapy that is uh, tolerable and that does not uh, lead to increased hematotoxicity. So we've um, validated this therapy um, by several preclinical studies uh, with antigen escape models and also by toxicity models. And now we are set up to translate this to the clinic in a first-in-human uh, clinical trial that will start later this year at uh, MSK.